We take you now to the waters off South Florida, where some teen girls are taking a bite out of science by studying sharks. Here's CBS's Elaine Quijano. Watch your head, watch your step. On Biscayne Bay, these middle and high schoolers are about to come face to face with some of the ocean's top predators. Genesis Jackson has never seen a shark up close. Sharks are my favorite. Why? They are amazing. They're beautiful. They're powerful. Are you guys excited? Yes. Let's go. Students are joining University of Miami researchers as they catch, tag, and release sharks. It feels very um, extraordinary to be able to be that close to these beautiful animals. So we know what we're doing? Yeah. Catherine McDonald heads up the program called FINS females in natural sciences. She's studying how sharks live and reproduce in their ever-changing ocean home. Pollution and warming waters are altering where sharks migrate, feed, and give birth, affecting ecosystems. So tagging is an opportunity to better understand how sharks use habitat use. And today we're using marker capture tags, which will tell us if we ever see that shark again. Bait thrown from the back of the boat lures sharks in. The team quickly takes measurements and tags the dorsal fin. There it is! One, two, three! McDonald has a suspicion about this shark and performs an ultrasound. It reveals this black tip is carrying three shark pups. She is confirmed pregnant, guys. She's yeah. carrying some pups. It was amazing. Why? I got to touch a shark! The dream for all of us is that they see science as a realistic and accessible opportunity for themselves. An unforgettable lesson about a sea of possibilities. Elaine Quijano, CBS News, Biscayne Bay, Florida.